Hi, I'm Sam Carmen with the Division of Forestry, and we're here at Morgan Monroe State Forest at the Hardwood Ecosystem Experiment, one of the sites of that experiment. And with me is wildlife biologist Scott Halton with the Division of Forestry. Scott, we're here to t today to talk about birds a little bit. Uh, what in this habitat do you see that really uh, would attract birds? Uh, the thing that kind of jumps out at me, and, and I think it's probably most evident on a, on a cold morning like this, is, is what habitat is available for, for birds year round. People who are doing forest management, whether in a woodlot and a forest, can, can leave behind certain structures that uh, are really important, don't take a lot of effort, uh, there's not a lot of commercial value in these structures, uh, but leaving them behind can be really important to a lot of species that use uh, habitat year-round. What I'm thinking of here is, is uh, snags, dead trees. This is something that uh, will be attractive to woodpeckers. Um, woodpeckers are a really important species group because uh, they create habitat for other, spe for other bird species and other wildlife species. When you create a timber harvest, you cut down trees, you're already attracting a food source that woodpeckers like, which is wood boring beetles. Uh, so you'll be attracting them into your woods, um, but if you retain snags and places for them to find shelter, to have a nest, uh, uh, then you'll be keeping them on your site for long term. And since they, uh, they help you with controlling forest pests, forest insect pests, um, and they create habitat for other, other species by creating these great cavities, uh, this is a, a, great, a great resource that you can be keeping behind. Another thing you can do as well is, is if there's already live trees that have cavities in them, uh, those are another uh, resource that you can leave behind. Well, they provide ready-made homes for a lot of wildlife that can't make their own homes. A lot of bird species, chickadees, bluebirds, things that people are familiar with. Uh, if the cavities are big enough, also wood ducks and owls will find them too and use them as well. So uh, leaving these behind are, is a really important thing that folks could be doing. Well, we're standing in a hardwood stand here. Uh, what about conifers? We never really had big pine forests here in Indiana, but what you'll find a lot is that there are small planted pine plantations, pine stands, um, and you'll find those as, as inclusions in these hardwood stands, these hardwood forests. And they're great for, for birds from the standpoint of they're offering a bit of variety in habitat. Um, and again, that's important in the wintertime for a lot of birds that are here uh, as residents year-round. In the wintertime, they're using these pine stands to, to kind of get out of the cold, get out of the wind. And what, what about food and water during this time of year? Water is uh, it's a great resource. If, if you don't have it in your woodlot or you don't have it in your forest, you can make small ponds. Uh, and it's important any time of the year, even these, these times of the year when it might be frozen over at some parts of it, uh, birds will still use it. The important thing to keep in mind around any water source is uh, that there are best management practices that can be followed to keep machinery and operators away from working near those water sources and introducing sediment into them. Uh, with food sources, a, a great thing that, that folks actually might be doing accidentally when they create an opening in a closed canopy forest uh, is, is creating uh, a ready-made food source that, that actually lasts year-round. When an opening is created, uh, it brings in light through the forest canopy. Um, during the summertime, the productivity in that, in that regenerating stand uh, is very high. Um, a lot of insect production. Um, but what carries on through the winter in this time of year, uh, you'll get a lot of soft mast, a lot of berry production, you'll get a lot of seed production. All the trees, the mature trees that were retained around the opening, uh, their crowns will get bigger, their, their fruit productivity, uh, their nut acorn productivity will increase. Uh, again, you're bringing light into that stand. Uh, and that food source will last year round. So this time of year, you'll see a lot of bird activity along the edges of openings, canopy openings. And uh, that's, a, that's a great food source that you could be offering them. All right, well, yeah. thank you very much, great. Scott. For more forestry information, be sure and visit our website. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the woods.